let's look at questions relating to balance of payment so question one is that balance of payment is an accounting statement that records the economic transactions between who now generally let's say if you have particular country x this the people in this country may interact with the rest of the world x here means india because we live in india so india is the country that we are talking about the transaction between the resident of a country and non resident individual now the rest of the world may comprise of individual it may comprise of company government firms and many other people so the question which is there before you is when you prepare a balance of payment it's an accounting statement between whose transactions so transaction between the resident of a country and non resident individual the answer to this is no because it is a transaction which is there between the residents of a country and the rest of the world it has nothing to do with specific individual even transaction with non individuals are covered option 3 is non residents and rest of the world we are not so a country may not be interested in what transaction people outside the country are doing with the other country i mean why would we prepare a balance of payment for these transaction therefore this is also incorrect this is incorrect the correct option is option b it is a transaction between the residents of a country and the rest of the world economic transactions include which of the following visible items yes of course visible item could be something like you know your phones you can see them you can touch them so transaction for purchase and sale of phones are obviously economic transactions invisible item that will be transaction for services you obtain the services of various companies let's say it companies you may obtain the services of a hotel all these and you pay for them so all these form part of economic transactions unilateral transfers of course a unilateral transfer basically the word uni means one or single so these are transaction where let's say a resident of india gift some money to his son who's living in us now this is a transaction which takes place between two different country a resident of india and the rest of the world a unilateral transfer why because it's a one way money that is going in return the son is not going giving anything back which is economic in nature therefore it's a unilateral transaction but even these are covered within the definition of economic transaction so therefore the correct answer is d resident includes individuals firms government agencies all of the above now in so far as the definition of resident is concerned for the purpose of balance of payment it includes individual it includes firms it includes government agencies therefore the correct answer is option d all of the above balance of accounting payment balance of payment accounting uses which standard of accounting now you know what is double entry you know what is single entry you know what is cash basis you know what is accrual basis but when we say standard of accounting in so far as balance of payment is concerned it uses double entry system wherein the receipts are shown on the credit side and the payments are shown on the debit side therefore your correct answer is a balance of payment is which of the following concepts is it a flow is it a stock or both a and b now these two are opposite so it cannot be both a and b what is flow a flow is a transaction that takes place over a period of time now when we prepare a balance of statement it's an accounting statement for a given period of time therefore a balance of payment is a flow concept a stock concept is the one which is at a particular point in time now that is not something which is applicable to balance of payment and therefore the correct answer is option a what is balance of trade when we talk about balance of trade it is more relating to goods 
or other visible items. So balance of trade is basically nothing but the difference between the export and the import. It is the difference between these two. So option one is difference between export and import of goods, another visible item which is correct. Sum total of export and import, no, it is not the sum, it is the difference. Therefore this is not the right answer. Difference between export and import of services. Again, like I mentioned, it is in respect of goods and other visible items that we calculate balance of trade. So if it is the difference between the export and import of services, that is also the wrong answer. And some total of export and import of services again, because it is, it is in respect of goods, therefore this is not the right answer. What are the components of balance of payment account? A current account, a capital account, or both A and B. So a balance of payment consists of current account as well as capital account. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Balance of trade is also known as trade balance, balance of visible trade, both A and B, none of the above. Now, balance of trade is also known as the trade balance and balance of visible trade, which means both option A and B are correct. And therefore, the answer to this will be C. Inflow of foreign exchange is recorded on which side of the balance of payment account? When there is an inflow, when you get money, right? What is it? It's an income and, in, and an income is something or a capital receipt. It can either be the two of them. Yeah. But both these items, if you remember, as per the double accounting entry system is also credited. Therefore, the correct answer will be A. It is recorded on the credit side of balance of payment account. Which of the following is not a component of balance of payment? I just told you in the A question 7 or 8, if I remember correctly, that the balance of payment account has two components, current account and capital account. Therefore, real account is something which is not a component of balance of payment account and therefore the correct option answer is option C.